Hey guys, what's up? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be the pen ultimate VPN guide for 2021. Now, why exactly should you trust me over other reviewers on YouTube or the internet itself? Well, I've reviewed over 65 plus VPN providers in the last two or three years. And I've actually been reviewing VPNs for around five years, pretty much reviewing every single VPN out there. I'm really experienced in the industry. And the best thing about my channel is that I don't do any sponsored reviews. Not only that, but actually most of the other reviews on YouTube right now are actually botted and kind of fake reviews with scripts in the description and even copying my disclosure agreement itself. So if you want authentic VPN advice for 2021 with the ultimate guide, you've come to the right place, my friend. So guys, the first thing we're gonna discuss about VPN is deciding whether you even need one or not. Now, how are we gonna do this exactly? Well, we're gonna look at what some of the people on my channel who use VPN and what are the reasons for it. So how exactly are we gonna do this? Well, I've already made a questionnaire from 2020, going into 2021, asking the people on my channel their thoughts about VPN. So this could give you some idea of maybe what VPN you should use and why you wanna use one. According to this survey that I did that had around 78 responders, most people use VPNs for a variety of different reasons. Most singular among these reasons is most people seem to use VPNs for anonymity or just privacy in general. The other majority kind of use VPN for a variety of different reasons, including torrenting content, and blocking restrictions at work and school, which is admittedly the least popular reason, torrenting content. And a lot of people like using VPNs to unblock restrictions with streaming websites that prevent you from looking at different content libraries in different locations to just be able to watch more content. And in fact, if we look at what are the common VPNs most people are using, most of the time they're using popularly marketed VPNs that are usually pretty expensive and actually not that good of products. Taking it back a little bit, let's really finalize why you should be using a VPN if you really need one. Of course, some of the biggest reasons, like I said, torrenting, unblocking your restrictions, and just general anonymity and privacy overall. If you're not sure you need a VPN still, go ahead and leave it a comment in the down in the description down below, and I'll make sure to answer it in your specific use case. Now, moving on to the next section, we wanna discuss what are the most important features of a VPN that you should think about when picking one. So guys, this is another case where the survey comes in handy because we can see that what people prefer when they're choosing a VPN. And the two most important things people consider are both speed and reputation. So a lot of times choosing a VPN kind of depends on your specific use case, what you need a VPN for. However, I might assume that you're looking for a VPN that is very reputable, trustworthy, and has good speed so it doesn't affect your internet connection. These probably are the things you're gonna be looking for. And personally for me, I think those are some of those important categories as well. If we take a look at the tier list, we can easily isolate VPNs that are very reputable and very fast. And there aren't actually that many out there that have both of those things in pretty much perfection. So it actually makes it pretty easy to pick a VPN in, in 2021. Looking at this list, you can see VPNs that have a five score are VPNs that are part of the RVP or reputable VPN program that have provided me a complete list of their employees, complied with transparency reports, and not paid for any reviews or misleading marketing tactics, not had any security vulnerabilities, etc. You can check out the full RVB program and see which VPNs have been accepted and qualified to be accepted. Unlike other trust initiatives and things like that out there, this is not a pay program, so VPNs don't have to pay me to join it, but it is in a selective program, meaning that not every VPN can join. They have to apply and get accepted by me which is kind of doing a reputation audit per se. So if we look at VPNs that are reputable, we have TorGuard, OVPN, and AirVPN getting a perfect five out of five. However, out of TorGuard, OVPN, and AirVPN, only TorGuard VPN gets a five out of five, so speeds. So if we're looking at what people value, speed and reputation, it makes sense only then to pick TorGuard. TorGuard also does very well in other categories as well, making it pretty much no brainer. It's only $5 a month or $30 a year with code TOMSPARK, so it's very affordable. The application is very customizable and secure. It's got great speeds. In fact, TorGuard is so fast and so reliable globally that out of around 10 or 11 users I tested worldwide with my community run speed test, 
TorGuard had the lowest percentage chance of a speed decrease from any of these VPNs we tested. Sometimes you can get 40 to 50 megabytes a second with WireGuard download. Not only that, but it includes a BitTorrent proxy, which in some cases I could get up to 90 down downloading BitTorrent files, which is insane. Not every VPN even includes BitTorrent proxies. I know that ExpressVPN for one doesn't and several others don't either. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this best VPN guide for 2021. I hope you understand my logic and objective reasoning here using community run speed test to illustrate speeds, um, making the specific program itself, the RVP program to find VPNs that are willing to be fully transparent and accountable for their product and let me be the judge. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this one. Click on the links down in the description down below if you want to help support the channel. And I'll see you again very soon.